from Lavely Studios. We have moved the studio down to Tucson, Arizona, and we have some new readers today. And their names are... Derek. Lydia. Leslie. And they will be reading the story, Jump, to you. Take it over, readers. Here we go. We have some assistance from Wesley and Lydia today. Ordinarily, things were pretty quiet on the desert, but this was no ordinary morning, and Barb was no ordinary cactus. Barb, you see, wanted an adventure. But in the desert, nothing ever happened, and nothing ever changed, until... One bright and sunny day, just like all the rest, old Tucker Coyote came a little too close on his way up the path. Barb saw an opportunity. She held her breath. She waited, and at just the right moment, she, she jumped. jumped! Whoa! They were off like a shot. Tucker had never moved so fast ever. Barb stuck on for dear life. Tucker ran in circles, jumped in the air, rolled on the ground, and then he ran straight for a rocky cliff and stopped. Barb kept going and never looked back. Here we go. Fortunately, there was a nice soft place to land, and before long, she jumped again. Only this time, she flew higher, harder, further, and faster than ever. The spirit of adventure had really taken hold of her, or at least somebody, huh? Woo! Ouch! And away she went. Down below, a mighty river raged. Barb dropped in on a group of river raptors floating along in a giant inflatable raft. It was quite a leap, even for her. Suddenly, there was a loud pop. And before she knew it, Barb was riding on a luggage rack. <coughs> Barb coasted down Main Street. <coughs> and got a little carried away at the Museum of Art. <coughs> She boarded, she boated, she bulldozed, she bobbed, she bicycled, and she bounced. Wow. Wowzers. Barb was having the time of her life. <gasps> wow. Woo. Just when she thought she had seen it all, she spotted the ocean. Barb had never seen so much water in her whole life. She hopped. Right in, she jumped with the dolphins, slipped through the seaweed, and bobbed through the bubbles. The more she jumped, the more she saw, and the more she saw, she more, the more she jumped. The world was a marvelous place, and it was getting better by leaps and bounds. The Grand Canyon, we know where that is. Stockbridge, Florida, Chicago, the Hoover Dam, New York, San Francisco, and Mount Rushmore. The places you'll go. It was smack dab in the middle of Barb's big movie debut that a terrible ache began to grow in her heart. Hmm. What good is having such a great adventure if there was no one to share it with? And just like that, an idea jumped into her head. <gasps> Whoa, and off she goes. Barb jumped out onto the very next cowboy home. Yowza! Her friends were captivated Yowza! by her stories of adventure about how she jumped, how she flew, and how she swam, and how she hopped. Whoa! But the best part was when Barb unveiled her idea, the Coyote Catapult, the first ever adventure ride for cacti. Even Tucker was happy about his new job. Dad, he got owie. <laughs> he does. Whoop. Super pup. Da -da -da -da. Barb's idea took off. In no time, the skies became filled with cacti. Her friends appeared in the most peculiar places and by the dozens. Yep. One. Forty. 
and by the dozens at the movie theater, the school bus, the barber, the airplane, and the fridge. What? Nope, hold on, turn the page, hold on, here we go. Things weren't exactly ordinary anymore, and certainly not quiet, not by a long shot, which, of course, is just the way Barb liked it. And he jumped. And she jumped. Thank you for joining us in Lavely Studios in Tucson, Arizona. Hope you're having a good day. We love you.